when I've been mixing up in these little tissue culture tubes, five cc's of water and or of hydrogen peroxide and 45 cc's of water and this will sterilize your seeds so there's no bacteria or mold spores on them and instead of keeping these in the dark like you normally would you put them in the light and the light reacts with the hydrogen peroxide and eventually it just turns this into water here's a look at the uh Gorilla cookies crossed with Chimera number three. That one there suffered some heat damage. But looks like it might come out of it. Man, they're really vigorous. I think they're going to be good. Okay, back here in the middle. This would be Gorilla Cookies Auto Flower crossed with Chimera number three. Photo period. The famous super, super frosty Chimera 3. So is that one there, but it's a Sativa Fino. It may turn out to be awesome, but it's these, these here in the middle. One, two, three, four of them that are pretty much identical. They're more closer to the Chimera. What's up, my gromies? Just thought I'd do an update here real quick. And uh, still working on the breeding project with the uh, Gorilla Cookies Auto Flyer across with the Chimera number three photo period. The Chimera number three is from Bee Leaf. And this is my third generation Gorilla Cookies, originally from Fast Buds that I use to uh, be pollinated by the Chimera number three. Man, they look a lot like the meat breath photo periods did. They're just starting to flower. And when they're flowering the fastest. That one and this one beside it. The this one beside it got really tall way taller than the rest of them I had to bend it over this pot here in the front left I have two plants coming up out of it and both of these I'm spraying with STS spray that recipe I gave you guys a couple videos back this is after two weeks it's been sprayed twice these are F1 plants, and the seeds these make will be F2, and 25% of those will be auto-flowering. Hey, what's up, Gromies? Hope everybody's doing good. Uh, the Chimera number three is a clone-only strain. They do make S1 seeds from it. They sell for like 400 bucks a 10-pack. Today is 28 days since I've been spraying one of the or two of the females. I have two females in one pot. Well, these are all feminized seeds. So, I reversed the Chimera number three and used it to pollinate a Gorilla Cookies autoflower. I've heard a lot of mythology about how you can't do it that way, but it doesn't matter how you cross them, and I guess we'll find out in the next generation. And that's what I'm excited about today. Today is day 28, since the first time I've sprayed my two reversal plants with my STS formula. Got my first pollen today. And I'm pretty impressed with these plants, man. They come out nice. Uh, these are all photo periods. These are the F1 seeds or F1 plants. They're gonna be making my F2s. So these two plants here in the front, they're the ones I've been spraying. They've been sprayed three times with STS spray. You can see they're loaded in male flowers. And already opening up. There's the other plant.
very healthy looking if you don't overuse that STS it doesn't seem to hurt your plants much at all once a week is fine works great so well, I plucked one of these off earlier today there's one right there ready to spill the pollen all over the place let's pluck it off and see what it looks like Plenty of pollen. The one in the back corner is the one I really want to get pollinated. I think it's the best one in here. As far as frost. It is frosty. I'll give you some close-ups here in a minute. So now we're doing some close-ups here. And these turned out to be nice plants. Nice looking plants. I'm very happy with them. I got a shit ton of these seeds. I can just grow these as a photo period seeds if I want to. I still got a bag of bud left. And it is plum full of seeds. Plus the hundreds of seeds that I've got in a bottle already. So these are good F1 seeds right here. And we'll get some close-ups on the frost. Of course not every plant is as frosty as every other plant. They all differ a little bit. They're all fairly frosty at this stage. Back there's the one that's flowering the fastest. It's the most mature. And it's showing the most frost. These are all the same age. Now when they grew very tall, I think it's pretty frosty too. I had to, I don't know if you can see it or not, I had to bend it down under the trellis net. It's pulling its way back up now. There's one in the right front corner. And another shot of the reverse females. This is two plants. Over here in our two by two tent, there's a little Mac one. I'm gonna put it up on a uh, some kind of pedestal to raise it up about the same height as the rest of these but yeah they are completely pollinated I finished did the last dusting bit of dusting this morning actually and let's see this one back here my favorite that's the frostiest one I believe this one and that one is my favorite they're very frosty and the calyxes are shaped the same as the uh, chimera by that I mean they're just kind of teardrops pointing straight up overlapping each other like scales it's a subtle subtle thing but I have noticed the calyxes look just like the chimera my mother plants for seeds would be those two in the back probably very good terpene profile a lot like the chimera so that's good because the gorilla cookies really didn't have any terps much to speak of at all so uh, doing good in five weeks i'll be harvesting the seeds from these and Hello Gromies, they were pollinated a couple weeks in a row with feminized, feminized pollen from one of their siblings. These are the F1 plants. These are the F1s. The result of crossing chimera number three. 
with Gorilla Cookies from Fast Buds. So this is a photo period. Auto Flyer F1 Cross. You can see some leftover pollen sacks. These two in the back here are my winners. This one come out to be a giant compared to the rest. So that worked out pretty good. This is my other winner back here. I mean, they all come out super frosty. This was the first one to mature. It's not the biggest, but it is nice. Okay, now we can get a side-by-side -side comparison of my two winners. See, this one here is a lot fatter. It was a lot bigger. <clears throat> this one over here finished a week sooner. It's kind of hard to judge the frost because so much of it has turned brown already. I mean, seeds are just falling out of it. But like I said, we'll test them with the DX analyzer and see what it says about terpenes. Okay, this is the MyDX Analyzer. You can look this up online. It's got a lot of mixed reviews, but I find it to be okay, and I needed something, something that would test for terpenes. I've got it charging at the moment. It comes with this little box here. I've had this for maybe a couple of years. You got a European plug-in and a plug-in for the USA. And what it is, it has a little, it has a door on it. And you slide a switch down, the door pops up. plastic inserts and you fill that little pot full of weed put her in there and it has an electronic sniffer it's similar to gas chromatography but it's not quite that accurate but it uh, forces air through the sample and then it reads the air coming off the sample so that it can analyze the terpenes and the THC levels. And here's the, uh, the bag with three sample containers in it. When you buy this kit, they give you hundreds of sample containers. Now when you do take your sample and run this machine, it's important that you don't have any other odors contaminating the air since it does read odors and uh, you don't want to be smoking anything in the same room try to only keep the sample you're testing anywhere near the machine in other words just don't contaminate the air try to use it in as clean a room as possible to get the most accurate reading so the first thing I want to do is open up the app. This ha You have to download an app to your phone. And I want to run the calibration. That will test the clean air and calibrate the machine since I don't, I don't use it that often. It's usually several months in between uses. And to do that, I'll have to open up the app. I'm going to pick the MyDX1 app. Please grant location so this app can detect. Huh. Whatever you say. Okay, it took me a minute to uh, get it to connect to my Bluetooth. But now I got it. Alright. 
open testing chamber we've done all that and we placed an empty <clears throat> chamber in there we're just doing the calibrate right now and hit start you can hear the air blowing through it just enter the name I don't have to enter anything right now and we've got to wait 200 seconds for it to do its uh, calibration Okay, now it's counting down. And it says nothing. So now we're done with that. We can uh, take our first sample. Okay, and the only way to take a sample, you can see on here it's got a little lip on the sample chamber. Normally you would just scrape your dried material right off the off the bud until you fill that pot up. But these are full of seeds and we don't want to uh, get any seeds in there to dilute our sample. So we may not get as good a results. And actually I got the numbering backwards on my plants. I labeled this one number one. And the large one is labeled number two. So I might as well fix that right now. Just do the best we can to uh, get some good bud here without any seeds. You wanna break it up good. The air can go through it really well. I don't like that I have to rub it around on my fingers because we're losing losing some terpenes. We're losing a little bit of everything. I'm very curious what the terpenes come out as because even the Chimera 3 doesn't have any like I can't really find any kind of information on the Chimera 3 how much THC it has in it or actually what terpenes are in it other than uh, smells like orange Tic Tacs I'm not very good at describing the smells Okay, so we got our sample loaded up. Then we open our door. Take out our calibration. Our empty calibration sample container. And place our actual sample in here. And we close it up. And I have to connect it back to the app. Okay, so now we're back on the app. And we want to select cannabis flower. No devices found. No, it could be because I had it turned off. Instead of turned on. Now it finds it. My DX. Device is connected. Open testing chamber, play sample in chamber. And we're all done with that. And hit the start button. The My DX is on a flat surface already. Now we have to wait 200 seconds for our results. I'm going to name this C3 
Number one. All right, I'll be back in a few minutes. Okay, guys, we got our, we're done analyzing. Hmm, feelings. Well, it says it's good for pain. That's pretty much it. it says it makes you feel happy. It makes you feel intelligent. Okay, let's check out the content. That's what matters. Holy shit. That's the highest THC reading I've got off anything so far. This only tests up to 27% maximum, so I, uh, I don't really trust this too much on the THC as much as I do the terpenes. The what, can I, what I can tell you is when it gets high like this, it's usually a little lower than, uh, what real testing would say, you know. But this is pretty close. It's usually within 2%. And it usually runs a little low. So that's fucking awesome. It's almost maxed out on its testing capabilities. As you can see here at the bottom. Uh, it's testing for THC. is a minimum of 13 and a maximum of 27. We're at 25.6 almost. That's badass, man. I'm very happy with that. Let's get down to the terpenes. I want to see the total. Ah, oh, it doesn't total up the terpenes for me. I have to add that up by hand. It's, I'm going to have to write them about that. Terpenes. I'll let you guys scan through there. Alpha pinene, beta pinene is pretty high. Uh, limonene's fairly high. Ooh, geraniol. That's pretty high. Terpenine, terpenoline. Ooh, high in humulene. Well, humulene, number one. Geraniol, number two. And then uh, beta pinene and limonene. Those are the primary primary terpenes. So yeah, I'll be saving this to my data. Okay, so uh, we got that. But I lost it and I don't want to run a new test. Since I have it recorded here, I'll just take a some screenshots and save it and uh, so now we'll test the others and see how they're doing okay we've done the same thing here with plant labeled number two that's pretty I'm gonna put it in there connect to the app and see what this one tests out at Okay, hit analyze cannabis. My DX, now it's my DX51. Device is connected. Testing samples already in there. Hit next and hit start. Alright, I'll see you in 200 seconds. I'm going to label this. C three number two. Okay, let's see how plant two turned out. Well, it's exactly the same uh, feelings. The THC was a lot lower though at twenty percent. Huh, I would have never guessed. CBD was lower too. CBM is higher though. Uranium. And humulene. Huh. 
twenty percent. It kind of blows my mind. It's like a six percent difference or five percent difference anyway. That's what I mean. Can't hardly tell by looking. So it looks like my number one plant is my number one plant after all. It wasn't the biggest, but it was the fastest flowering. And it started putting on the frost the quickest. So there we go. I'll be looking for my next auto flowers from my Chimera cross with Gorilla Cookies F1 number one plant. Well, that's all for this one, guys. I uh, hope you're having a good one. I appreciate you. And uh, looking forward to the next grow. Thanks for watching.